New Zealand's become a much more diverse society, particularly since we altered the immigration policy in the late 1980s, but you've really seen that change after 2000. And one of the things that's most obvious is that we now get the bulk of our immigrants from Asia, from India and China in particular. So we always used to take a lot of British, but no more. So 12% arriving this at the moment. So when we look out to 2030, the things that you will notice most is that we've become a much more Asian society. So in here in Auckland, where we are at the moment, 23% are Asian. Mm -hmm. And by 2030, I would expect somewhere around 30% of all Aucklanders will be Asian. And already that Asian population is larger than the Māori and Pacific populations combined. And sometime in the 2020s, and certainly by 2030, for New Zealand, the Asian population will be larger than the Māori population. So very significant changes in who we are and who lives here. The composition of our, of our demography, of, of our population is changing, is going to raise a series of questions about who we are. And when we look at it, I mean, most of the Asians who are living here at the moment are overseas born, three quarters of them are overseas born. But by 2030, they will be New Zealand born. And our research shows that those New Zealand born Asians have quite different views about their position in the society, what the society ought to be, and of course, who we are as New Zealanders. So we begin, uh, it raises a series of questions about biculturalism, multiculturalism, about the flag, about the anthem, about um, how we describe ourselves. So I think it's, 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 we're right in the middle of significant change. And I think by 2030, you will have seen a very different New Zealand emerge.